Okay, so now we're back. Uh, this has been installed, so we're gonna launch this. Okay. You can just pick the default. There's not not a whole lot of reason to, you know, to 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 change it unless you want to. So. It's taking a bit time to set it up. This is it's only happened the first time, so you know we just have to go through this. Once it's finished, the. Uh, the, the initialization now we're back right so this is the Eclipse environment okay so let me minimize this so at least you can see the clear so this is the Eclipse environment and uh, what we need to do next is to sorry to install PyDev okay so the PyDev can be found from here okay this marketplace. That's what I want to do. So go to the marketplace, Eclipse marketplace, right? And then we type in pod, pod dev. Click on the search. That's there you go. So we have the pod dev. So we all you need is just confirm. And then say I accept the license. So it's installing, okay? That's what it's showing. It's installed. We'll just give it. it. So you, you have to accept the license. Okay, so now once uh, it restarts, you will see it. Okay. So once we get through the once we get through the initial loading, we will verify the PyDev is installed. Okay. So we'll go to the file new. All right. You come down all the way down to pick other. Okay. Make sure you see the other. The Pi Dev is actually buried in here. As you use more Pi Dev uh, component, it will show up on the main menu. Okay. So we will Pi Dev, right? You see this Pi Dev, right? So that's what it's sorted by alphabetic. So you just look for P. So this just I am I'm a brand, Okay. This is the Pi Dev. That's the the utility. The add-on we installed. It does specifically for Python development more. So that's pretty much it. So you know, just for the heck of it, we can just click on the PyDev project to create a, a initial project. Let's just use the famous hello world. Right? So we use hello world. Right. And then it asks you for the you know you need to set up a grammar version. Now remember now. We are using Python 3, okay? So we'll have to pick a Python 3.6. That's the version. Python 3.6, right? So we'll pick the 3.6. And then we need, it, it actually tells us my new project has 
has not specified the interpreter yet. So we need to tell the system, uh, you know, where the interpreter is. Okay, so it's going to look for this, the, you know, the the Python three. Okay, it's going to look for this here. This is where it's the system is going to pick up. Okay. So if you look at this down, you see Python. Okay, that's actually points to this directory. Okay. It will ask you if you want, you know, allow the Eclipse to communication with the, you know, I only select as this in the. So, all right. So if you really want to know where this points to, you can look at this. It actually tells you. You see this, folks, right? That's what the it says where it locate. You know, same as here. Right. And uh, this is where I said uh, the location we have here, you know, right? It picked up, okay? So this is all correct. And then we will just apply and then finish. So this will create, uh, it, you, it will ask you, because it's going to switch to PyDev mode, okay? So if, now I'm in the PyDev mode. Uh, my project uses this, uh, Python interpreter, which is correct, right? So now I can create a, a new project, a new Python script. So I say, just, there is no package. I just, because we only have one, because we only have one, one more quick script module. So we'll do this, okay? You just click, okay, there's nothing to for you to, to change, okay? Click okay, so. Right. So now all we need to do is to print hello world. So save it and we can run this just to show it works. So we'll run as a Python run. All right. So hello world. This is the result. Okay. That's the result. This is what the so it all works. So we set up correctly. Okay. In the next segment, video segment, we're going to talk about how to create project uh, for Django programming. Okay. Django is a web framework uh, written in Python. Okay. Thank you for watching.